planet, unlike any other we know of, is alive. It's one giant living thing with something resembling its own system of organs, the biomes. Each biome is nature's response to a particular climate and geography on Earth. We need all these organs to run well so that our living planet can remain healthy and we can reap the benefits of a stable, productive, living world. So what makes the biomes run well? In jungles, it's diversity. More than half of the species on land live in the jungle. And it's this incredible, complex variety of life that enables it to work so efficiently. On grasslands, it's space. This is where our planet's big animals live in big herds. Without the space to move, the grasses become overgrazed and the whole system collapses. In the coastal seas, it's abundance. The shallows teem with life, but only if the different members of the living community are all allowed to thrive. For the seasonal forests, it's resilience. The trees of these forests are adapted to endure a period of cold, drought, or fire. Forests with a mix of different aged trees are the best at bouncing back. The high seas need their big predators. The open ocean becomes a desert unless whales, big fish and big shoals are present to help mix up the nutrients as they hunt through the water column. Fresh water systems need flow. Freshwater species are dependent on a reliable flow of water to time their behaviours from breeding to migration. And at the poles, it's all down to ice. Ice isn't just something for polar bears to walk on. It's the soil of the poles supporting the entire food chain. And it's a reflective surface that acts as an air conditioner for the whole globe. If we humans hope to thrive on this planet long term, we must learn how to work with rather than against the biomes to get what we need. We can use jungles, but only in ways that leave their diversity intact. We can use fresh water systems, but only in ways that don't impede their flow. Across the board, we must make changes to the way we operate to ensure that the biomes, those organs of our living planet, don't fail. That is entirely possible if we put our new understanding of the way the wild world works to good use. <laughs>